Welcome to this episode of My Electric Earth. Having a Tesla like this, it's exciting because things are changing with the car quite often. The car has an internet connection so it can communicate with Tesla's servers and get updates on a regular basis to the car. Lately Tesla added a setting on the software menu where you can choose if you want to get the update as fast as possible or if you want to wait a little bit so others can test it before you. You even get information that there is a software update waiting for you to be downloaded if you connect the car to Wi-Fi. Things are happening so fast when you have a Model 3. There is coming those updates every second week. And uh, this morning I got another update and rumors says that in this update uh, auto Navigate on Autopilot is included in the this uh, release. So let's go and read the release note. Hopefully the update is ready right now. Well, the update was not ready. I was uh, in uh, too much hurry uh, to see what is happening. Uh, apparently the screen is like completely impossible to use right now and it stands just the sign that update is in progress. So we have to wait for some more time. Okay, so now my mobile phone prompted me that the software update is ready. So now we can enter the car and see what have happened. What is new in this update? Navigate on autopilot. Yeah! This has been available in the United States for some time and now finally we get this update for the European Union also. It's not possible to turn on the function navigate on autopilot while driving, so I had to stop the car and put the car in park in order to enable it. So now we have the navigate on autopilot button here available under autopilot, so we'll turn it on. And there is a disclaimer that we have to accept. And then you can customize the navigation on autopilot. And here is so that it should be on directly on each navigation. And there is different kind of lane changes options here. Uh, and um, from the recommendation that I saw from YouTube videos from the United States, the Mad Max is the best option because then the car will change lane even if the car in front of you just drive a little bit slower than your speed. Okay, so now finally I have the autopilot engaged and navigation on autopilot is also enabled. And you see this blue line here telling me the way that I should go and uh, also this blue sign here is uh, showing that navigation on autopilot is enabled. So I'm coming up here to this uh, truck here and we'll see what happens. It proposed that I should change lane, so I'm changing the lane right now. I need to confirm the change with the indicator. Okay, so we are coming up here to a slow driving vehicle in front of us. Now we'll see if uh, the autopilot will suggest a lane change soon. But we have other cars in the other lane, so it doesn't suggest any lane change yet. We'll see when it will suggest any lane change here now. No, it doesn't suggest a lane change yet because we still have some cars coming. Now it suggests a lane 
Lanches, but I don't want to load it Lanches because we do have a car here and it is saying that I cannot, cannot move cars. I'm like a little bit locked in here now because I still have cars coming. Sending in 100 meters, I have to take over right now. Let's see if it comes to a stop now. Yes, it comes to a stop. Autopilot gave back the steering to me. Yeah, and now I am in control. Yeah, it worked. And I didn't have to confirm the lane change when going into the exit. That was completely automatic. That was quite cool, I must say. Okay, we are coming closer and closer and we reached some traffic jam here on the highway. And also in this moment, the autopilot is doing its work very well. So, stopping and going with the traffic without me having to intervene so much. Okay, the next exit is coming up and our route is planned to leave the highway here and we'll see how it will navigate of this.
even if it said it would be returning after 90 meters, because here it's possible to drive, apparently. Without any problem. So the message that the car indicated that it will give back the control to me after leaving the highway exit was in this case unnecessary. Well, we came to the end of the episode. What a trip. What a car. Can you imagine a car that updates itself and give you new functions and fix errors from one day to another? Well, I must say that I bought this car mainly for the environment aspect. It doesn't pollute the surroundings, it's very efficient, it doesn't have a tailpipe. But I'm also now very impressed of the characteristics of this car and especially the autopilot. It's such an amazing thing how the car is reacting in the traffic, in the surroundings and how safe you feel when you drive this car. If you're planning to buy a Tesla Model 3 S or X, please consider using a referral link because you will get some free supercharging and it would be a pity if you miss out this opportunity. Feel free to use my referral link here or use someone else, but don't miss this opportunity. Thanks for watching and until next time, have a great life.